the intensity of just the full orchestra, the LSO with its massive brass, and then just the music of Marla was just, just mind blowing, just in tears at the end. It just, I'm sitting in the Tenth Symphony, and which time is a deafening piece of music, yeah. and just you know the wall of sound and the quality of the playing as well. The sound of the strings is very powerful, you know, it's deep expressive. Something special about the LSO, I think, is that there's a really great network of people around it. Mm, I think yeah. you hear so many people talking about the orchestra as well, and mm. despite the fact that they have such good relationships with so many, you know, world-class soloists, world-class mm. conductors and everything like that, mm. it's always the players in the orchestra that everyone comes back to. One of the most wonderful things about being in the chorus is that one is an amateur and one has the privilege of singing with these world-class musicians and wonderful conductors. I know. Um, that, that, that is truly amazing. Even professional musicians who I know are quite envious of what I do as an amateur with the LSO and their conductors and their soloists. Yes. London is a new city for me, but London Symphony Orchestra is already uh, I heard of them it's, uh, uh, many years ago. Uh, even I was in Beijing and I was in my hometown. Yeah. And uh, so I really feel very lucky to come to London. I have such a lots of chances and to come to London to hear the music. Certainly I found being a friend has enabled a much closer relationship with the orchestra. I particularly enjoy going to the rehearsals, yes. particularly at yeah. St. Luke's where you feel that the barrier between you and the orchestra is virtually non-existent. Yes. As a young person, for me the most important thing about LSO is that it actually, you know, it actually shapes the music in new and modern ways. I've been to an Aftershock concert, have you heard about that? It is an amazing experience uh, where it's a very informal, informal, you know, uh, informal setting where you hear the, the musicians, you know, best musicians in the world, best orchestra musicians play, playing in such an informal environment. Such a hard-working band, I mean, they're always on the go, but every, every experience, when you, when you go and see them, they always give 110%. They also get like, DJs and people like yeah, that. Yeah, so they bring in like, other genres DJs, as well. DJs, yes. With the yes. orchestra. Yes. I think that's brilliant, because that. I mean, I think that really connects to youth, especially people like of our generations that sort of opening up other genres, but also bringing the classical closer to people. It's always a really um, active experience going to, going to hear them play. It's amazing.